Well, hello folks, here is Grim speaking, and today I'm going to try to record a short video tutorial about how to ink uh, comic books digitally. Uh, remember, I tried to. I'm making this for fun. I'm, dr I'm doing this for fun, excuse me. Uh, I'm not a professional inker, so I do not own any rights on the pictures I'm using. I just took it on the on Google or on the Facebook pages of my favorite artists like Jim Lee, Philip Stein and all those great, those great artists. Um, so these pictures, if you like them, what I hope, cannot be sold by me. If you want them, you have to buy the original or buy the book. Uh, but this page is used on uh, this channel, this YouTube channel, and my Facebook page and my David Art page are used as my portfolio. Uh, well, how to ink comic books? Um, first of all, you have to have references. Fair. Yeah, I know. I took some. <laughs> examples to to train myself uh, you want them in blue like this first not in black and white because for the inking process it's going to be easier and then you can delete when you finished with the inking you can delete the blue color on photoshop imagine i want to ink uh, this is Guardian Warrior here. I'm gonna open a file on Photoshop. This is by Marcio Abreu from Ed Ben Studio. I don't know if I pronounce the, the names right. Um, I'm not used to <laughs> say it. Let's check the dimensions first. See, pretty crappy. Let's put in A4. Okay, that's better. It's in JPEG. Now, it's still in black and white. You want to go to image, mode, grayscale. Then, again mode, duo tone, and put them in cyan. You went cyan. Don't remember if you, how you say it in English. As I'm, I'm French. Um, I put it in a pretty strong value, because when I'm going to drop the opacity to ink, uh, on it, it's gonna be easier, and um, the blue will still pop up a bit. Click OK. Then the last time you get image mode and RGB color. Then uh, just save it. Uh, go to your file. Just write down the dimensions so you are. Pretty sure, 2233 by 3508. Um, you can close Photoshop. Then you go to Manga Studio. File New. Yeah, then you write down your dimensions here. 2233. Yeah, I'm using pretty small by 3508. That's awesome. Was the last, the last one? Then you go to File, Import, Image, and you just click on your image. So there you have. Now here is why I put a pretty strong value on the blue layer. When I drop the opacity here, it still pops up. I put it on 50%, it's pretty balanced. Then you add a normal layer, a new one. Uh, Okay, now how to ink. Now it's ready, it's ready. Uh, on the Cintiq, if you're using one as I do, or on the Intuos tablets, I don't know if you have other brands, I just own uh, my Cintiq. If you press your stylus uh, more or less, you can do this kind of effects here, which will be called feathering. For later. Okay, let's try to zoom. See the quality is pretty good. F 
this is how you ink basically <laughs> it's not different not much different than when you're doing this with uh, a pen or brush or pencil whatever you're using uh, it's just that for me uh, it makes it faster because it's not my main job right I'm doing first one so I don't have time to um, uh, begging a drawing from you when I make a mistake which happens a lot see for example here if I just went down here it will be it will be dead on the traditional I just have to press my button on my Cintiq and off it goes now how to make the effects like those you see on your comic book uh, you guys know that shadows and large black areas are really common and really important in comic art so here I'm filling a large area well a large an area of black then I'm gonna rotate a bit like a normal canvas here it is and now I'm gonna do some feathering see I put my my mouse on my cursor in the black I press a lot and then poof boom I go towards the outside and release this one was crap and release the stylus and here you have your texture this is called feathering uh, for the rest it's pretty much the same uh, well it makes it doesn't make it a bit faster it depends depends on what you're inking for example because on here for the air I'm gonna have to do the same but sometimes I think for the air is it could be faster or with uh, traditional media. Depends on how fast I am. See and boom, there you go, feathering again, feathering, feathering, and more feathering, and boom, there you go. This is your drawing. This is how basically you ink a comic drawing I um, when I'm when I'll be finished with this drawing which I hope be, will be soon uh, I'll just put this on Photoshop again and just erase the blue layer uh, in 30 seconds or so and then the drawing will be ready to well <laughs> to send to <laughs> to the editors of the company or whoever could be my uh, my boss if I was an employee of a big comic firm company well uh, I hope it helps I hope it answers uh, questions you could ask um, and I hope it's gonna give you well envy, you know, makes you wanna do the same or just draw. Uh, well, guys, just let me know what you're thinking about. If you want more demonstration, and just leave a, leave a leave a comment. See you later.